agenda that was always talked about during his days of minority government. Well, it's no longer a hidden agenda because we know exactly what it is now. It's billions of dollars worth of unnecessary jet aircraft. Uh, it's gazebos. It's closing down the wheat board. It's uh, closing down the invaluable long-term census. It's closing down the long gun registry. It's cutting off major funds, which they're going to announce soon, for the CBC. It's cutting back on pension and old age security payments for citizens. That is Stephen Harper, and there's much more of that coming in the near future. Dismantling of EI. Yeah. Ursula, anybody know who Ursula Franklin is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the wonderful, wonderful woman, Ursula Franklin, one of the great physicists in this country's history, recently said that what is happening in Canada now reminds her of what was happening in Berlin when she was going to university. Yeah. So I, you know, I have been active in uh, public affairs in one way or another for about 40 years in this country. Uh, I don't even want to think about the number of speeches I've given over the years. But I have to tell you, whether you like it or not, that I've never been more pessimistic about the future of our country than I am today. And the only people, the only people who can change that is you. People who care. People who care enough to come to a meeting like this and people who decide they're going to get involved in the future of their own country. Um, I, I, you know, I've been called a Canadian nationalist and I said, you know, this, you wouldn't, it wouldn't be called a nationalist for the things that I talk about. You don't sell off the ownership and control of your entire country. Is that a nationalist? You don't give away your natural resources. Is that a national? Yeah. Well, the answer is we are bloody lucky to live in this country, or have been until Mulroney came along, and until uh, Harper. Stephen Harper came along. We, uh, we've got so lucky in terms of the fresh water that we have, in terms of the incredible, if you look at, at, at Vancouver, at British Columbia, the incredible, incredible scenery, the yeah. incredible amount of natural resources that we have, the wonderful people that we have, the, the, the people who uh, speak many languages, who come from many parts of the world, and we're incredibly fortunate yeah. to have this. And we, what we have to do, ladies and gentlemen, here's what we have to do. Let us begin to take control of our own future. Yes. Thank you. Yes.